There we go. Thankfully, I remembered my hotkey for recording because I'm terrible. Anyways, I also don't see my frame rate. Maybe that doesn't happen until we actually get into the game. To be determined. Anyways. Okay, okay, okay. So the rules for the game that we're going to do. I do have a uh, survival mod installed called Ashfall. So we'll be enabling basically everything with that. So that we'll have to, you know, eat, drink, sleep, do all of that sort of stuff. Also, um... I haven't played enough of Morrowind to know how viable this is going to be, but the plan is is that we will only heal outside of using magic, because in my opinion, you know, digging into your backpack or whatever, pulling out a potion and drinking it in the middle of battle, not so realistic. But casting a magic spell, much more realistic in the middle of battle. So in the middle of battle, we can... Um, holy fuck, you're not wrong, dude. That is loud as shit. There we go. <laughs> I think that's a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know because uh, it's easy to miss that sort of stuff. Anyways, as I was saying, rules. I don't know how many of the rules you guys could actually hear. Uh, <laughs> but we're just going to continue. So yeah, no no using potions in the middle of battle. Regular healing's fine. We can only uh, use healing items whenever it's safe to do so. Uh, we can only save at rest spots i don't know if like you can sit and rest in this game like you could in like skyrim and stuff like that um but basically anywhere where you we could safely sit down um or take a nap uh is where we can save at um difficulty wise i don't know anything about the difficulty here so my plan was not to go straight to 100 but start at default which is zero and then every time we level up We'll come back into the menu and increase the difficulty like by two or three points. Something like that, right? Is what we'll do. Um, so we have survival. Only saving when we're resting outside of like quick saves for crashes or whatever. Um, increasing difficulty. Can only eat and drink and stuff whenever we're in a safe spot to do so. And I think that's... Pr oh, no fast travel. And uh, obviously no save scumming since we're not doing the re the re the re uh, the reloads there the quick saves whatever words are hard. Have you played more one before? Only a tiny bit, only a tiny bit. Like you know how combat works, right? Yeah, it's basically a dice roll, right? Like uh, D and D style, but then the uh, the higher your what you call it your skill level is for stuff, the more likely you are to to succeed on a dice roll. Turn down the audio a little bit more. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't played much more when... Um, so, yeah. Real-time shadows? Cool. Let's go. It's asked because it makes you think it's going to be like later Bethesda games, but it is not. I've seen some mods that try to change that um, by making it so that you have a 100% hit rate um, as long as you know you connect with them. And... Uh, I'm sorry. Is the music just always full volume here? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Enough diddly-dallying. Let's get into the game, shall we? So yeah, we're doing a uh, bit of a challenge mode run kind of thing. But I'm a total noob at this game, so we'll see how it goes. The goal is just to beat the game. Everything else is, is extra. In the waning years of the third area of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day of two uncertain parents were sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. Cool. And we're going to be that prisoner because you always start as a prisoner in Elder Scrolls games. from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Yeah, it's just like in, uh... The script will not run anymore? What? Okay, weather may be broken. Uh, anyways, it's just like in uh, every Bethesda Fallout game, you uh, start the game in a vault so that whenever you come out of the vault, you have this really cool view 
of the world for the first time. Um, just like how in Fallout, there's always daddy issues. I one in the same, yeah. Uh, my mouse is gone. This is going well already. Can I just click like? Hmm. Well, that was a good run of the game, right? No, seriously, my mouse is gone. Script XE weather apply. Hold on. Time to Google. This is what happens when I don't have a chance to actually try anything. Uh, I say that just counts as a win, though, right? XE underscore weather apply. See, this is honestly why I want to play Morrowind, open Morrowind. But the, uh, the uh, patch that I want to use for survival rules um, doesn't work on that one. Uh, the weather script in the terminal thing. You don't have it, do you? I should. It was all working perfectly fine up until it wasn't. I didn't start getting that message until like a hundred hours into my character. Holy shit! Uh, six more replies. Use MGSO. Which MGE did you choose? The XE in front of us. Uh, put MGESE. Uh, so wait, is it like? Okay, this is when we all have four. Shit, that didn't work either. Okay. Close window. <laughs> Off topic, but you got some of the Total Warhammer games and Brother pretty fun. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about them, but what do you mean Morwin's currently running? What? Morwin should not be running. Task manager. Uh, yeah, I don't see Morwind on this list. Sort by name. Morrowind definitely is not on this list. Never mind, I lied. It is. It's just not up there with the main stuff. Okay. Uh. So maybe maybe it has something to do with the code patch. Because this has like a shit ton of rules. Game mechanics. But there's something in here about weather that maybe I should turn off. Uh, healthy, slow fall, healthy appetite, swift cat, sting. Rain, snow, collision? Uh, I mean, that would be nice to have, to be honest. Mod specific. I don't know. Bug fixes? Uh, no, it doesn't seem to be anything in here. Bruh, what do we do? Okay, we're going to try one more time. If it crashes again... I guess what we'll do is just start uninstalling mods. <laughs> One of our plugins could not find the correct version. Check the warnings.txt file. I guess I should probably check that real quick, huh? Warnings.txt. Is that in here? Yes. Uh, real signpost is the one that's broken. Okay. So if it fucks up again, we'll try getting rid of uh, real signposts and hope for the best. If I could just click yes, it might still work, but it like my mouse is gone though. Lame, dude. Okay. I love how after I exit the game, the music still keeps running in the background. All right, uh, need to open up the Vortex. I wouldn't mind playing some more Blood Bowl one of these days, dude. This is a great first episode, by the way. I hope, uh, or not episode, but like first stream of Morrowind. It's a great showing for it. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves. I know I sure am. <laughs> All right, disable real signposts. Everything should be deployed. Load order. Then my load order's probably fucked, too, to be honest. Oh, uh, whatever. Let's, just, let's try it again. Deploy mods, refresh list, whatever. Okay. Launching the game. Use the local save. I don't care. Uh, play. <clears throat> Started playing again the other day, but you think you're sticking to two for a while? Heard a lot of that. Oh, really? What's the uh like? What's the problem with three that people have? 
Fuck! Script XE underscore weather apply. Trying to run fuck fun function. <laughs> uh, XE weather apply. Okay, hold on. There's a thing. Uh, just uh, disable XE sky variation mod from data files in the launcher. Okay. Okay. Possible fix. One more time, boys. We got this. Uh, for reals, though, if you don't need, like, any major mods for Morrowind, highly, highly suggest you try Open Morrowind. Um, I have heard nothing but good things about it other than its mod support isn't as good as original. So yeah, <laughs> if you're not planning on doing like a shit ton of mods, just do that one, dude. Hey, we're in the game. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? What is our name? Do we want to just use stream as our name or do we want to use something like a little more fancy for this here. Any uh, any requests on that there, my guys? Blood Bowl 3 has bugs, bad UI, clunky, crashing, limited number of teams. Gross. Can't see subtitles. The goal is in the way. I will move it if we need to. But I can't remember if they actually showed up. <laughs> you should use Weenie. We're not naming ourselves Weenie. Uh, I guess we'll just be stream. Going once, going twice, stream it is, stream the barbarian weenie. <laughs> Can we type that many words? Barbarian weenie. There we go. Not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Okay. Uh... Let me move the goal here. Where's the... I don't know where the best place for it is. We'll just put it in the... Uh, uh, I don't know. Top middle, I guess. And hope for the best. Something like that. See how that works out. How come when Rue says the name Weenie, it's okay? Because Rue's version of Weenie was actually interesting. Your version of Weenie was lame. Oh, now it's in front of the names of people. God damn it. You know what we're going to do? If I could find my mouse. There it is. We're going to put it right... We're going to hide it. <laughs> we're going to put it back where it was. And then we're just going to hide it. It's fine. I don't need it here. I don't care about it that much. Um, yeah, it, it's, like, better, but it's, uh, like, where it was, but it still had, like, it was still covering up the names of people that we were talking to and stuff, so just get rid of it. Problem solved. There we go. Now we can see, uh, I guess it was only covering it because of uh, where I was looking at on Why? him. Here comes the guard. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. This is where you get off. Come with me. Hi, guard. W and S move forward and back. A and D move side to side and the mouse looks around. Cool. Oh, anyways, what I was saying. Open Morrowind. From what I've played of it, uh, which isn't very much, very cool. If you want a mostly vanilla experience, that's the way to go. That's all I was saying. I'm assuming we can't, like, search any of these things right now. Uh, shift is walk, not run. Okay. Can't jump yet. Can't steal anything either. What is this? This isn't even a. Uh. Can we do a poll for race? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Is it possible for you mods to start a poll? I don't know if it is or not. I can start one real quick. Just gotta find my mouse. There we go. Okay, I shouldn't need that running. Oh, damn it! No, don't go back to that. Don't need this anymore. Maybe you can check. It's fine. I'm already uh, tabbed out. 
You can still check for like future reference or whatever, but I'll also, we should probably put that we're not just chatting anymore. We're playing Morrowind, kind of. Ah, I'm uh, Morrowind. There we go. Done. All right. Uh, poll time. What are the options? Do, does anyone know what the options are? Because that part I do not remember from the last time I played. Morrowind. Nice. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I can probably look that up real quick. Morrowind race options. Races in Morrowind. Um... Here we go. There's probably only two people in chat that will even vote on this right now. <laughs> Argonian. Khajiit. Redguard. Nord. Breton. Oh, wait. Is that the maximum we're allowed to have? Oh, bruh. That's... You can only have five options. There's more options than that. <laughs> I think we're, sadly, I think we're going to have to skip it this time because there's no way for me to set up a, a quick poll for that. Whenever, uh, if we end up, you know, enjoying our time with the Bethesda RPGs and stuff and come back to them and I do the, uh, the permadeath runs, I plan on those ones being either completely randomized or chat controlled as far as like race and uh, play style, like whether we want to be sword and board, two hand, magic, uh, stealth archer, whatever. Um, so don't worry, you guys will have your options for that sort of stuff sooner or later. I want to steal all your stuff though, lady. Okay. Up we go. How do we jump? Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Can we just not jump yet? I guess that's a possibility. We finally arrived, but our records don't show complaint. Bro, the music is so loud. <laughs> Even compared to like the people talking and stuff. It's so loud. These graphics are shit. They're better than I remember them though, but that might be because of uh some of the mods that I'm running. But like You into that dark elf? I don't know what kind of stuff I want to do, right? Like, if I want to be focused on magic or blade or bow. Orc? Orc would be good if we want to focus on, like, melee damage, right? I would assume. I don't actually know what the heavy armor, medium armor, block axe. So they're good with axes. Hmm. What's the Nord? Axe, blunt weapon, heavy armor, Long blade, medium armor, spear. 10, 20, 30, 45. 10, 20, 30, 45. Okay, it's even. Honestly, the graphics are fine, but those animations are dog shit. Yeah, and the uh, I'm not a huge fan of the UI. was the one thing I actually did notice when I played before. Okay, so we got Argonian. I don't like these Argonians. I like the Skyrim ones. Breton? No. <laughs> Dark Elf? Maybe. High Elf? Meh. Uh, Imperial? Kind of meh. Khajiit? Mm. Short blade, sneak, athletics. I don't know. Nord? Maybe. Orc? Maybe. Redguard? I kind of like how Redguard is a little bit more rounded than the, uh, than the Orc is. Because the Orc's basically just axe and a bunch of armor. That's all they have. Redguard actually has, like, axe skill, blunt weapon skill, long blade skill, short blade skill. The only thing they're not good with out of the gate is, uh, whatchamacallit, a bow, which I imagine is probably, yeah, the wood elf specialty. Swollen kitty. <laughs> she in pure Isle. Fuck it, we'll go work. I'm fine with that. Though, like, 
points in heavy armor and medium armor is kind of annoying. It's not going to matter at the end of the day, though. So it's fine. It's fine. We're going to keep it. We'll be a, uh, a sexy lady orc because why not? That's that's sexy right there, right? <laughs> sure. What kind of hair options do we have? Can we, like, rotate you around? Yeah, there we go. Uh... Oh, there's not that many hair options, is there? Do you guys have a preference for hair option? I'm thinking... Do we want the long hair? I'm not feeling the long hair with her, man. The down pony? Yeah, I'm not liking the up pony. I don't like the long hair. Down pony... is definitely okay. That one's... a little better than the last one, maybe? Or we can have old lady hair. Sure, down pony. <laughs> you got it, my guy. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Oh, that ranch flavored ice cream, Nate? Yeah, I remember seeing that, man. I saw that po 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 pop up? <laughs> pop up on like Facebook or something. It looks terrible. I love ranch, don't get me wrong, but ranch ice cream? I don't know, man. Although, I did try hot sauce on ice cream one time. It was Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce. It was disgusting. But, <laughs> maybe with some ranch ice cream, maybe it wouldn't be quite so bad. Can we steal stuff yet? No. Our hands are bound, technically, right now, aren't they? That's probably the problem. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Persuasion. Admire. I'm busy that day, sorry. <laughs> Fuck you too, my guy. You'll go no further until you have your papers. Dick? Uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Answer questions, give him the info, or fill out forms yourself. We're going to answer his questions, I think, and then just accept whatever we get. This doesn't, while it is going to be a somewhat hard mode playthrough, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's fine. On a fine. clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. Oh, God. What do what we want to roleplay as? Do we want to be a dick? Do we want to be... Honestly, for first playthrough, it's got to be just true neutral, man. Like, it's got to be true neutral. Uh, it will not survive long. Do not interfere in the natural evolution. Use herbs from your pack to put it to sleep. Draw your dagger merci mercifully, ending its life with a single thrust. Mercifully, One summer end its life. True neutral. Choice of chores. What would you rather for, for first playthrough, true neutral, because with true neutral, I basically just do whatever the fuck I want, right? Just whatever serves me, whatever does best for me. Uh, whenever we return to the games for the permadeath runs, we're going to probably do, like I said, randomized everything, <laughs> including playstyle. Uh, but for now, just true neutral, man. Summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. This is really small. I might want to scale the UI next time we play. Uh, gather herbs for your mother who is preparing dinner. Go catch fish at the stream using a net and line. Work in the forge with him, casting iron for a new plow. Um, Catch fish at the stream using a net and line, I think. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What Make do up a you do? Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. Beat up your cousin, then tell him that if he ever calls you that nickname again, you will bloody him worse than this time. Make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns his lesson. Make up a story about how it's a badge there of honor a for us, dude. a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. You believe what? Loyal for all, loyal, fuck me. 
Loyal followers to the king have nothing to fear from a telepath. It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies before it is too late. This is true, but that gives them too much power because they can just lie. It's a terrible practice. A person's thoughts are his own, and no one, not even a king, has the right to make such an invasion into another human's mind. <laughs> In these times, it is a necessary evil. Although you do not necessarily like the idea, a telepath could have certain advantages during a time of war or in finding someone innocent of a crime. My th problem with all of these answers is that I just don't trust the te te telepaths to have that much power. So I'm going to say this is a terrible practice. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake, a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? Return to the store and give the shopkeeper his hard-earned money. Explain to him the mistake. Pocket the extra money, knowing that shopkeepers in general tend to overcharge customers anyway. Decide to put the extra money to good use and purchase items that would help your family. I will do the last While one. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? We leave the bag there, knowing that it is better not to get involved. Pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble. Pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only honorable thing to do is return the money to its rightful owner. He. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you, in return for a future favor of his choosing. What do you do? Mine is offer, knowing that your father expects you to do the work and it's better not to be in debt. Ask him to help you, knowing that two people can do the job faster than one, and agree to help him with one task of his choosing in the future. Accept his offer, reasoning that as long as the stables are clean, it matters not who does the cleaning. Uh, two hand, four hands make quick. Well, I don't your know. Mother asks you to Whatever, help the help one. The stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? Grab the hot pipe and try to push it away. Push your mother out of the way. Position yourself between the pipe and your mother. I mean, in all honesty, I'd probably try to grab the pipe just because instinct, you know? <laughs> but I, it would be smarter to push mom out of the way. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll. Or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. <laughs> what do you do? Act like you're going to give him the sweet roll, but at the last minute, throw it in the air, hoping that they'll pay attention to it long enough for you to get a shot in on the leader. Drop the <laughs> sweet roll and step on it, then get ready for the fight. Give him the su sweet roll now without argument, knowing that later this afternoon you will have all your friends with you and can come and take whatever he owes you. Uh... Uh, I mean, no matter what, it looks like we're losing the sweet roll. So drop the sweet roll Entering and get ready town, for a fight. You find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. What do you do? Rush to the town's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge of the circumstances. Rush to the man's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge. Stand aside and allow the man and mob to pass. That one. I'm a rogue, apparently. Okay, so we're a rogue. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? We're <laughs> a rogue that's only good with axes and shields and heavy armor. So, <laughs> good. Uh... Okay, weakness to magic, nah. Spell absorption could be nice, but we have stun and magic ourselves. The lady, fortify personality and endurance, not bad. The lord, weakness to fire. Ooh, we learned the spell blood of the north, which restores health for two points for 30 seconds on self. The lover, fortify agility, get a couple powers. The mage... Holy shit, there's a lot of these. The mage uh, just fortifies magic. 
Turn undead 100 points for 30 seconds on target. Turn undead 100 points for 30 seconds on touch. Restore health 100 points on self. The ritual is not bad. The serpent. Poison 3 points for 30 seconds on touch. Damage health 1 point for 30 seconds on self. Ow. The shadow. Invisibility for four, 60 seconds on self. That'd be really good for rogue. The steed. Fortifies speed. Thief. Fortifies speed would be nice just because of the no fast travel. Uh, well, you did one hard mode. I mean, <laughs> not necessarily poor stat choice hard mode. Just, you know. The thief. Sanctuary 10 points. I don't know exactly what that means. The tower. Detect animal 200 foot. Detect enhancement 200 foot. Detect key 200 foot. Tower key. Open 50 points on touch. Fortify attack by 10 points. So the shadow or the tower? Invincibility or be able to detect things? And maybe open stuff? I don't know how that works. What do we want? Optijack, you're the only one that's played this game out of all of us here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> do you have a an option there? Ruse in the second one? I just don't know which one would actually be better. If we're a rogue, the shadow seems really good, but the tower I think would be better for exploration and stuff, which could be really helpful. You normally take the tower, tower it is. Interesting. Now before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Name Stream the Barbarian Weenie literally doesn't fit, so that's good. <laughs> it's gonna be annoying. Uh strength 45. Okay, so this is all actually pretty balanced. Um <laughs> we're a rogue with a sneak skill of five awesome so do we just end up being even though our things don't fit it at all uh i wonder if we just end up becoming a stealth archer man <laughs> light armor short blade hand to hand medium armor um and orcs aren't to use any style armor effects we wear must be trained, conditioned, skilled, and used. Maybe medium armor is what we'll go for. You always take things that'll help with exploration. I absolutely hate coming across doors or chests I can't open. Yeah, that's how I am in like the Fallout games and Skyrim as well. Berserk, Tower Key, Beggar's Nose. Berserk. Okay, yeah, I mean, we're not going to change anything. We're going to leave it. Now have stats menu where you can always view your information. Right clicking allows you to use your menus. When you're done with them, right click again to close. Right click is open menu? That is absolute trash. No, don't quit Morwen. I want to save. How do we... How do we close this? Oh, there we go. Read your papers by pressing the space bar while looking at them. And then select take to pick up. Is F5 quick save? Cannot save right now, okay. Take your papers off the table and go or released by Emperor Uriel Septum the Seventh Decree to the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morwen. Name, stream the barbarian weenie. Race, orc, class, rogue. Signed, that person. Take. Now have an inventory menu where you can see what you're carrying. Like all menus, right click to use your new menu. You can click and move objects from the world to your inventory. Cool. How do we switch which menu we're in? Can we quick save now? No. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. Can we change? Just learn how to do combat. Pick up the dagger on the table by activating it with spacebar. Can we uh Options. Video. View distance, camera crew. Okay, so no options there. Audio, we need to turn down music a little bit. The music is kind of loud, dude. But also, do we have controls? There it is. Forward, back. Is E used for anything? E is jump? No. <laughs> Space bar is jump. And... Where's, where's activate? There we go. E. Okay. There we go. Equip the dagger by dropping it on your picture in your inventory menu. Well, first, I would like to read the note. 
Frisk guard. Don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw by morning. Oh, that's my note now. Take the bread. You can eat ingredients by equipping them on your character in the inventory menu. Ingredients have different properties. Some may hurt and some may help. Okay. Steal the potion. Crab meat. Sure. Steal all the food, please. Bread is good. I agree. Can we open the basket? We can. Some jerky. An egg. Some crab meat. Do things uh, spoil in this game? Just empty bottles. Nothing of use. Small chest. How do we... I'm guessing we can't... Lockpick right now? Press F to pull out your weapon. Once your weapon is readied, hold and release the left mouse button to swing it. The harder you swing it, the more damage it does, but the more fatigue you'll drain. So F to pull out weapon and put it away. Okay. Can we save now? No. Wait, can we only walk when our weapon is out? Seems like we can only walk. Oh no, I was crouched. That's why. Damn. Okay. Just empty buckets? No, we'll leave those be. What are we? Sorry, I don't think this is where we were meant to go. Where are we meant to go? Probably through this door here, huh? We're gonna have such a good steak tomorrow. Why have tomorrow what you can have now, right? I have a map menu. It shows you the name of the place you're in and the direction you're facing. That map is tiny, my guys. <laughs> we definitely need to scale. Engraved Ring of Healing. Nice. With 20 charges? Can we just equip that now? Random cup? No, we'll leave the random cup. Now I have a magic menu where you can see all your power, spells, and magic items. Like all menus, right-click to use your new menu. Click the spell or magic item you want to make your active magic. Press R to ready your active magic, then click to cast. Okay. So what, we can only have one active magic at a time? So we have that equipped, and then... So is it active now? I'm... I'm guessing that means it's active now. Proceed to talk to the captain. Select topics to ask about them. Don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. Cloth. Your papers, please. Papers, please? No, that's a different game. We're not playing that right now. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. The word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Release identification has been removed from your inventory, okay. Uh, actually, I'd like to know a little bit about Morrowind, if you don't mind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. <laughs> I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim VII himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are free, but before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. I'm assuming if we click these things, we get more info. Oh, yeah, it's it's over here on the side. Okay. You were given a link to the stream and was told it was a Weezer concert? What? <laughs> it's definitely not. <laughs> also, hello. Yes, Uriel Septum is still the Emperor. According to my instructions, he personally authorized your release from prison and your delivery here. It's all very mysterious, but that's the way the Empire works. Silence, secrecy, let not the left hand know what the right hand is doing. I really need to make this larger. Uh, what are my duties? This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to the Caius Casadas and the town of Bamora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for 
Cassius Casatus, they'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. So Balmora, south to Balmora, huh? He had one of them, used the ninja chopper to mince up the garlic and shallots. Then I cooked a steak in those and some butter along with rubbing the steak with a little brown sugar. I don't know how I feel about the brown sugar. Everything else sounds really good, though. Uh, okay. Cool. Goodbye. Play Island in the Sun. Is that a Weezer song? I, I've listened to Weezer before, but I definitely don't know, like, that much. Yes, okay. <laughs> Press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check out our real trade house up on the left. You're on your way now. Cool. So can we save now? We can! Nice. Okay. New save. This is going to be called, uh, I don't know. Stream one. Save. Exit. Yes. We're going we're gonna to exit real quick just because... I want to increase the size of the UI a little bit because I am having trouble seeing it myself, so I can only imagine what it's like for you all. Uh, da, da, da. Steam, 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 steam. Steam apps, there it is. Common, Morrowind. And we need uh, the patching thing. Somewhere on here. Enable shaders, display FPS, auto FOV. That's all fine. End game? Redditor, key remapper. That's disable audio. Show subtitles, display messages. Config? I know somewhere I saw an option to increase the UI scale. Display. Ah, menu UI scaling. There we go. Uh, I don't know, 2x? Let's try 2x. Hope that's good enough. Pork is bean. Pork is beans. <laughs> it's the best Weezer song. Not sure why I corrected it is. Could not tell you that one, my love. Play bangers and mash. It's not by Weezer, but close enough. It sure is. Okay, load stream one. There we go. It's kind of blurry now because of how it's being blown up, but it looks okay. This is terrible, though. Who thought this kind of menu system was good, man? Also, what does this toggle do here? Oh, it like either shows it or doesn't show it on the main screen. Ah. Okay. Sure. And then just close it. It's from Get Him to the Greek. Is that a movie? Sounds like a movie. I don't think I like you, Fargoth. Are you on that boat dropped off? Ought to see a boat arrive at the time of day. Hope the Imperial treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Uh, Should we give it back? We'll give it back. Yeah, I found it. Here, take it. You found it? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. So wait, and you can tell us about all kinds of things, huh? Little secret? Daedra? You know what they are, right? Well, Daedra shrines are where Daedra cults worship Daedra. It's a lot of Daedra. Bad people summon bad Daedra. <laughs> Stay away from them. Why? Because Daedra are nasty, and the folks that worship them are even nastier. Okay, what's your trade? I'm a commoner. I do whatever needs doing. Cooking, cleaning, building, baking, making, breaking. And by your accent, I can tell you are an outlander. Since you're new to these parts, perhaps you'd like me to share a little local lore. Uh, not really. Goodbye. Nice meeting you, Fargoth. Is this... No, that's to someone's I house. I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Yeah, so help me. 
I haven't seen your orc face before. Would you like a little advice, or are you looking for someone in particular? A little advice, please. Look like you can take care of yourself. Then why don't you do something about those smugglers and add a mastress cave? <laughs> it's right over there near the Silt Strider port. Yet these guards, look at them, just strutting around. Someone must have paid them to ignore the smuggling going on here. Quite possibly. Um, okay, so they said to the left. Maybe this one with the fancy sign? Oh, that's the back door. I ain't trying to go in the back door. Hello. Welcome to Ariel's Trade House. I'm Ariel, publican and proprietor. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. You're a new face here. If you want to buy from me, you have to barter. If you want a little advice, free to new customers, just ask. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions or most popular scrolls, perhaps? How about a little advice first? If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear and still run from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder and we don't like it. But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws all you like. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. The smuggler scum down in Adamastris, for instance, the cave down near the Silt Strider platform. Okay. Uh, let's barter? I... don't need this. Uh, we have 87 gold. I think I want to keep this stuff. So, holy crap, you have a bunch of stuff, man. Okay, right now, all I'd really like, honestly, is maybe some armor or something. Chitin boots, armor rating 10. They're light armor. Do you have any medium armor? Heavy armor. Medium. Imperial chain. Value 90. Hmm. Value 70. It's heavy, though. Iron shield, steel helm. It's light armor, light armor. I would like... Medium armor, maybe. Looks like the only thing we can really afford is this. And then... A bow would be kind of nice, but then we'll need arrows, too. Iron mace, short sword spear, war hammer, war axe, steel short sword. Okay, the arrows are cheap. Take the... Oh, holy shit. Never mind. <laughs> They're one apiece. <laughs> Is there a way to take, like, just a partial stack? There's gotta be, right? Never mind. We might just be dealing with our uh, with our dagger for now. Thank you. Please come again. Um, popular potions: cure common disease and cure blight disease. Potions are most popular with travelers. Fortify strength, endurance, speed, agility are also very helpful in combat. Fortify personality is popular with merchants and shy persons. Of course, Fortify Fatigue keeps you fighting at your best. Restore Health and Restore Fatigue are perhaps our most popular items. For a short burst of power during a fight, you can't beat Grief, Sheen, Flynn, Motsti, and Sajama. Okay. Uh... You piqued my interest. Please, share your thoughts. I'd rather not. Oh, there's like... Wait, are you another shopkeep? Go ahead, you're not interrupting anything. I'm alone. Scout, you need directions? I think I'm meant to head to Balmora. Balmora is the district seat of House Blalu and the largest settlement of Vardenfell after Vivek City. Good roads lead north from here to Balmora, passing through Fort Pelagiod <laughs> and Pelagiod Village. From Balmora, roads lead north to all types of place. Um. Okay, she wrote down the directions for us. Thank you. I guess goodbye. I will listen, Outlander, yes. but make it quick. There's a lot of people. 
normally I'd like talk to everyone as soon as I meet them, but there's so many people here, man. I feel like I'll just get lost. Isn't it Morrowind where you should be like jumping all over the place Any all the time? time What's this about? Let's hear it. Can I get past you, please? I just want to find someone so I can like fight them. Man, I really wish that signpost mod worked. I might try re-enabling it now. Is there an inn actually before we go? I'd love to have a proper save that we're allowed to reload from. Although I guess town in general is a safe place, but... It doesn't feel within the spirit of the game. Oh my god, this is all the faster we can... I imagine, like, as our agility goes up, we start to move faster. So that's the trade house again. It's the trade house. Um... It's a warehouse. What were you? Oh, you're the, the office that we came from. One other thing that I'm curious about right about now, I don't know if it enabled the, uh, all of the, the survival mode stuff for, from Ashfall. Hello. Can I sleep in your bed? Do you have a bed? Hammock owned. Hmm, guess not. These are all just, like, random checks. I'll tell you what. For this first town, we're going to say we're allowed to just save, and that's okay. But real quick, I am going to just check and make sure there's nothing I need to do to activate Ashfall. How to enable Ashfall. Um, credits. Nope, none of that. Installation, how to play. Okay. Instructions. Download Ashfall, unzip into the Morrowind folder, or use a mod installer. Uh, update, enable Ashfall.esp. The mod config menu? Uh... Wait, there should be a mod config menu in the main menu? I'm worried something didn't work, man. Ashfall is running. Let's launch the game again. It's definitely loading some of the mods. Yeah, there's no mod config menu here. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Hold on. I'm going to do one thing real quick. There was one step I was supposed to do that I couldn't do earlier because... Uh, Because one of the things that I was running wasn't working. The like the website for the Morwin script extender was down or something like that, but it seems to be up now. So let's re enable everything. Try launching the game now. Play. I also re-enabled that weather thing. Now that that's running, maybe it'll... Hey, there we go. Mod config. Look at that. Okay. So now the mods will actually work. <laughs> Whew. I was worried, man. So enable hunger, thirst, sleep, blight, temperature, and weather effects. Yep. Uh, Wetness updates? Sure. Turn it on. Start new games with survival gear? That would have been ne nice, but uh, it's too late now. When enabled, you can die of hunger or thirst. Otherwise, you will drop to one health. We'll have it turned on. Can die. Uh, everything else is turned on. Allow camping and settlements. 
Uh, no. Thin settlement exteriors? Wonder if that. Uh, whatever. Yeah, sure. Mod values? We'll leave everything at default, I think. Food, drink, blacklist? No, we'll allow everything. Camping merchants? Hm. Food, water, development options. No, I don't think we need to mess with any of that stuff. Cool. Crafting framework. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Open settings. Oh, now we can change the UI scale from right here. Very cool. Um, display FPS on. Uh, distant land. Everything should be however it was before. Blur. All this stuff should be what we had before, so that's fine. Morwen script extender. Morwen stretches movies. Yeah, we'll letterbox the movies so they don't look as bad. Um. Okay, there we go. Close, load, the quick save. Oh, okay. So now there's more things on our menu down there, too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming it'll tell us if we get too hungry or whatever. I guess... Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll just start heading to the next town. Violet Corpius. Oh, we can't just, like... Pick the stuff. They're, they act like chests. That's annoying. Hi, tree. Let's hear it. All right, so which way were we heading again? Do we have a compass? I'm assuming the bottom down there acts as a compass. Which way were we supposed to go? Uh, should I ask him about Mora? Mora, largest settlement after Vivek, north. Okay, yeah, so just follow the road north. How do we... Oh. Cancel? How do we close... There it is. Close. Speak, traveler. I'm just trying to get around you is all I'm trying to do, my dude. You have something to say to me? Sadly, it looks like the real signpost didn't load. Well, I probably forgot to enable it after I installed it or something. But it's fine. Is this what you consider the road? This kind of looks like trash. I don't know what all the icons mean down there in the bottom. But we're well fed, hydrated, well rested. Coverage is whatever that is. 70%? Is this magic, huh? Okay, whatever. Just following this road for now. Flint. Yeah, the survival mod also adds bushcrafting stuff. So you can, like, cut down trees, pitch tents, build fires, and stuff like that. Which is interesting. It's a very windy road. I'm curious about this, though. Oh, it's just more of this stuff. I wonder if this stuff's actually useful. Draggle tail. Can we take any of the bugs? You are damp. Yes. Yes, I am damp. Can I drink the water? I mean, that's pretty nasty water. I probably wouldn't want to drink it, but... Let, uh... It's weird. M puts up our hands. It's okay. Just drink it. I don't think we want to. How do we eat stuff? Do we just... I'm assuming we just ate that. We have seven of these. Did I just eat all... No, okay. I ate one. Did it not tell us what it does? Or do we have to like exit the menu first and then come back? It'll give you superpowers. Will it though? Is that how? Oh. 
should probably put on my helmet, right? Herb. I need some that I have. Okay, so there's a question mark on the bread. Eat one thing of bread. There's still a question mark on it, so... <laughs> uh, okay. So... That seemed to do nothing. Good, good, good. Yes, I know about the scroll that makes you jump like crazy. And uh, also likes to kill you because when you hit the ground... Yeah. <laughs> Not so good stuff happens. Hey, sp speaking of... <laughs> Hi there. I will take your iron spark sword. Thank you. Actually, will I just take everything? Probably. Fur helm. Scroll of a carrion flight. Not using that. <laughs> and gold. We'll just take all. And... What's dispose of corpse? It literally just deletes it? Okay. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all of the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner. Vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. This time is... Om the time is almost upon me. My research is finished, and all my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of to the, their towers and scream out my success. Sure. We'll take your journal. Oh, there's a bug. I want to kill it. I want to know how bad the combat's going to be for us. Can I sneak up on you? I guess there's no, like, indicator to let us know when we're sneaking. rock okay game <laughs> glad you told me that was a rock i might not have known it otherwise you can't see me don't turn around scrib oh dude too easy skinnable how do i skin it oh Oh, <laughs> that's how you skin it. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a hell of a coincidence. <laughs> what, did you not expect it to, the dude to show up where he did? Doesn't he always show up there? Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Vegetation? Can't seem to do anything with it. I don't know, like, all the ins and outs of how the bushcrafting and things work. But I'm assuming we can do something with this vegetation. And I know the trees we can cut down somehow. I think we need an axe to do that, though. Maybe we can mine some of the rocks, too. I don't really know. You are... Not friendly. Wama Forager. One piece of... Wama Cuddle? What is that? Guessing it'd probably be under miscellaneous? Raw meat. Probably shouldn't eat raw meat or raw jelly. But we need to either find a campfire or make one before we can deal with that. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Is this bad? No, okay. It's fine. Cavern door to Zane Pilu. Oh, hi there. Ow. Ow. You dick. Is it better to just spam? I feel like it might be better to just spam, dude. A piece of rat pelt. Very cool. Didn't realize you were in that area. You only slightly knew about the flying part from the meme. I've played enough of the game to know of that before. Plus, there's, a, if I'm not mistaken, there's an Easter egg of that in more or in Skyrim as well. 
for the DLC that takes you to Morrowind. Uh, I know you guys can't see it, but there's a pop-up on my screen right now. And I can't, I can't get rid of it, damn it. Hold on, what if I... Click here. And then, can I tab you? Okay. Continue running. Yes. Continue... Continue. Yeah, just continue running. That's fine. It was just some texture issues, which I knew were going to pop up, but I didn't know it would, like, uh, pop up in the middle of the game, though. We are still following the quote-unquote good road north, right? I hope we didn't just, like, get ourselves completely lost. Oh, no, it's a virus? I don't think it's a virus. <laughs> That looks like a thing. I want to look at it. What is it? It's probably just flint. It is. Well, whatever. Happy to have picked it up anyways. I mean, we're roughly heading north. Is that the road? Or maybe that. Bet you that's the road. That looks more road-like. God, we are so slow, dude. <laughs> we are incredibly slow. Hey, acrobatic skill. Increase to six. Let's go. How do we see, like, our overall level? I guess it's probably that number there, huh? Derek Balmora this way. Okay, good. We're still going the right way. Is this a harvestable plant? Harvestable plant? What is this? Slow fern. Spore pod. Orb. Die. Oh no. What was. What is. What is. What is going. Why am I. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what he did to us, but it wasn't nice, dude. It's a skunk bug <laughs> that apparently can completely freeze you in place, man. Flint. Fortify willpower and strength. Fortify strength, drain willpower, drain intelligence. So that's just alcohol. Hey, Noodle. Can you hear me, love? I has question if you can hear me. It's going to take me a while to get used to not pressing escape to leave the menu. Whatever this thing is over here, I want to kill it. Hopefully we can kill it. Oh, a mud crab. Come on. Surely we can take on a mud crab, right? How do we block? Is it possible to block? I don't actually know if that's something we can do or not. You're making lunch, what? I am very thirsty. If, uh, or whenever you get a second. No rush, though, love. Herb. I'm assuming we could eat an herb, right? And not get sick or anything? This is all raw. Ooh, rat help. Can I... Oh. Oh, God. This is a lot of crafting. Okay. Um, survival weapons, flint knife. How do I make a bed? Skills, bushcrafting, town, town. We need straw, wood, and rope. That makes sense. Uh, how do we make straw with fiber? How do we get fiber, though? From plants, okay. Oh, God, dude. Is there, like, a how-to? Difficulty, can craft. Filter skill, all. So this is everything we can make. It's a lot of stuff we can make. We can make whole tables and shit. Tent covers, weapons, water filter. That's cool. I knew about the uh, lean-to and stuff. Like, 
if you don't hurry, you might die of dehydration. I might. It's a possibility. Okay, let's uh put that back on camp craft. Oh. Oh, that's just... Skip. Okay, there we go. This is the one that I want. The stuff that we have the ability to craft, even if we don't have all the stuff. Is this a hut? Like I said, I'm assuming we need an axe to cut down trees. But I don't know, like, uh... Because there's all this these plants, right? I'm assuming vegetation has something to do with plant fiber. Shit. But I don't know... how we collect that stuff. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! I should have looked at what the <laughs> what we were getting into. Oh no! <laughs> well, <laughs> oh hey, there's some firewood here now. God damn it, dude! Any time now. Uh, okay, we died very quickly. Oh, <sighs> did we? Okay, let's re-equip this. Let's check the shop again, because the shop may have something new now that the mods are actually loaded. Um, oh, cool. You can order a hot meal or a water refill. That's nice. Not that we need that right now. Practice your skills. Oh, that's just that. Barter. Do you have anything new for sale? Apparel. Backpack brown fur. Feather, 70 points. I'm guessing that just makes us 70 points lighter. So that we can carry 70 points more or something. Ah, goblets and things can hold water now. Cool. I mean, that makes sense. I guess... It'd be nice to buy... One... You a goblet with some water in it? Please, speak your quickly, thoughts. Outlander, or go away. You're new to Sedeanine, right? I'm Tovice Othrilin. Sure you have questions. Go ahead. Ask. I have plenty of time. Um, There's actually nothing I really need to know from you. I just want to get to this next town. Some far wood. The irony of taking Nyquil my with a bang energy. So Why didn't you just buy Dayquil, my guy? <laughs> like, <laughs> for reals, though. Wouldn't that have made, like, much more sense? Any time now. An officer of the Imperial Legion move along. What are the latest rumors? Heard that the local tax collector, Proceus Vitalis, is missing. No surprise, really. He wasn't well-liked around here. <laughs> Why don't you do something about it, then, my guy? She's like, hey, the local tax collector's probably dead, but I don't care enough to do anything about it. No one liked him anyways. God damn it. All right, let's uh not go into like random huts full of enemies. The worst part is I don't even have it on like hard mode right now. I have it on the, the normal difficulty setting right now, and we still just instantly died, dude. There's what, two hits or something like that to kill us? Gotta remember to keep jumping. It's just fun to see which works first. Did you mix them up? You gotta mix them like 50-50 in the same cup. To be clear, I'm not actually suggesting anyone does that, but... If you want a true race to see which one wins first, then there you go. I honestly think, depending on the amount of NyQuil, I feel like NyQuil would run out, man. At least back when I used to, when I still drank caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> caffeine never worked on me strongly enough. 
to keep me awake, like, for anything. I guess maybe we should switch to that short sword. Instead of the dagger. Chop slash thrust. Chop 2 to 13. Chop 4 to 5. Slash 1 to 18. Slash 4 to 5. Thrust 5 to 5. Thrust 4 to 16. Cast when strikes. I mean, we'll keep the one we got. How do we... How do we do a different attack? Oh, that's right. You bought the NyQuil pills, of course. Thank you, love. I, I don't want the pumpkin. I appreciate it, though. You can give that to the kitties. Ah, oh, there we go. I've been thirsting to death. Thank you again. So, like... Because that's the only way for us to attack, right? If we go into options, controls, use activate, ready weapon, ready magic, sneak, run, always run, auto run, jump, max weapon, previous weapon, spells, toggle point of view, menu mode. I would really rather menu not be right mouse. How about tab? And toggle POV, I actually don't care what that is. Because I don't really plan on doing it. But I guess, like, that could be V. I don't think anything was mapped to V, right? Journal rest, quick menu. Quick one, two, three, four, five. What do you have to write a letter for, my guy? Yeah, I don't see a way to, like... Switch our attack mode. What was next weapon? That's a weird button for next weapon, but... Okay. Return. Yeah, that just literally switches weapon. Very weird. That's right. Let's try to get to another town or something at least so we can save. Pick up the flint as we see it. That could come in handy for, you know, living. The farther we get away from civilization. I have no idea how far apart the towns are spread, by the way. So this could end up being very bad. Us trying to get to the next one. I'm not really sure. A weekly reflective letter for senior project. It's a major pain in the ass. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Ooh, more firewood. How did I get into that menu before? How did I get into... Into that crafting menu. Was it under... Here? No, put our pants back on. We're not trying to run around naked. Unshaded from the sun. Unsheltered from rain. How dry we are. Damage. Magic. Tiredness. Temperature. Oh, our temperature and temperature limit. Okay. How did I get into that crafting menu before? <laughs> ah! <laughs> you have NyQuil and energy drinks. Room works great. Trade prompt pumpkin? Yeah, for the for the cats. We feed the cats period pumpkin. Oh, you have to have a knife for that. Okay, well, thankfully, dagger seems to count as a knife. Uh, apparently, we're thirsty. Damn it. 
It's gonna take a while to... Wait, where'd my inventory go? Oh, you have to like click the things on the screen. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> okay, that closes that. Here's our skills menu. And that like hides it. Oh. Okay. I st still. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> where's our tankard of water? Okay, so, well, we probably didn't need to drink that yet, actually. Um. Huh? I don't, I don't know how we got that crafting menu up before. For the bush crafting, was it B? No. Hmm. I feel like that could come in handy. Well, big sword. Oh, goddamn you. Eat my sword, you piece of crap. Uh, knife. Controls. We are definitely going to change switching weapons. Next weapon can be this and this. Wait, what? Oh my god. Really? It can't detect my... Whatever, my extra mouse buttons. Whatever. I'll take right click for switching weapons, man. Gives the kitties lots of fiber and pretty coats. Maybe it'll help you write the letter. <laughs> mm. Gonna get your shower? Enjoy your shower, love. And that thing is ugly, right? That's one of the reasons that I've really always wanted to play Morrowind, though. Um, even though the UI kind of sucks. <laughs> and it's not the prettiest game in the world these days. I've always wanted to play it. Because I find the world much more interesting than, say, that of Skyrim, you know? Because Skyrim is so similar to just classic fantasy stuff. Which, don't get me wrong, I enjoy a ton. But this is, like, magic fantasy kind of stuff, you know? Weird-ass creatures, mushrooms, this dead landscape, all these weird mud pits and things. A lot more uh, elves and things running around, too. Definitely excited to get further into it. Hopefully not die before we get to the next town again. Water dirty. Now, drink, fill container. We'll fill container just in case we end up needing it. I wish I could remember how to open that menu. I forgot it. We should be jumping everywhere. Got to get that acrobatic skill up. Speaking of, let's go. So we already know we're going the right way. I'm not going to go in it this time, but I do want to see what this hut over here actually is. You're a dick. Can you die, please? Dude, why can I not hit you? Uh, is it bugged? Hello? Oh my god, dude. That was terrible. Okay, what is this place? Cavern door. Okay, so just don't go in random doors, I guess. That's the, that's the lesson we've learned here. What is this water? Is this dirty water? Or just... Yeah, okay. I didn't know if it would count as, like, ocean water. If they had, like, salt water versus regular water and stuff like that. I guess not, though. Uh, mud crab? I wonder if we should be, like, trying to do power attacks or whatever. Is it worth it? Okay, 
E on the tree doesn't do anything. Thought maybe since E on the water does stuff, maybe it would there. Can I E on this water? No. You are damp. You are damp. Lie to me. This looks like a town. Is it a friendly town? Mora Caldera Gnisus. Hello, town. You look interesting, my guy. Hello, Relian Verne. I'm Relian, stranger. This is Hla Ode. <laughs> You're either a fisherman or a sailor in that bitter coast region. Or a smuggler. We don't get many pilgrims or tourists here. Are you looking for someone in particular? Are you looking for services? Is there some specific place you'd like to visit? Uh, yeah. Fat Legs Drop-Off is the only tri trade house in the village. That's where everyone hangs out. See a couple shacks and a ship or two, and you've seen all of La Ode. Beleni Salavel at the docks offers passage to Narmok, Vivek, and Ebenhart. Oh no, we don't need to go to any of those places. Where are your services? Few folks in town offer services, but they're either independents like Harian Areli, the pawnbroker, and Falia Sino, or their Kimona Tong and only offer services to their own people. Hmm. Okay. What's this about? I literally just told you what this is about, but <laughs> thanks for asking, I suppose. Oh, can we use the fire? Hey, place utensils extinguish. Um place utensil? Wood grill? So wait, how do I... How do I hook things? Do I just like... Didn't we have some meat? Yeah, rat meat. Oh! Does it continue to cook while we're in the menu? Or do I need to exit the menu? Okay, you actually have to exit the menu. Okay, okay. Well, 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 I'm cooking on your fire here. Hello, Trusteve. Welcome to Hla Ode, stranger. Garden spot of the Bitter Coast region. You're lost, right? Because no one comes here on purpose. Looking for services? Not much here. Do you mind sharing the latest rumors? We don't get much news out here. What are the latest rumors? It was inevitable. The local criminal organization, the Kimona Tong, wasn't going to stand by and let the Thieves Guild set up shop in their territory. It'll be bloody, and the Thieves Guild doesn't stand a chance. You have a secret? Daedra, you know what they are, right? Well, Daedra's trying to... Oh, so what don't. do you want? I'm assuming if things are tagged as own, that means we shouldn't take it. Hello, Razid. Welcome to... Hello, Oed, stranger. Garden spot of the Bitter Coast region. You're lost, right? So you're just saying the same thing. Okay, goodbye. Trap door. And I'm assuming we're not allowed to just take this stuff. Secret lantern. I'm just gonna wait for my meat to be cooked. And then I'll be on my way. Anytime wait, there's chairs. Just don't keep me waiting. Hmm. Meat cooked. Okay, take. Remove wood grill. Is it possible... I guess not. I was wondering if it was possible to like use our to, to purify our water that we have. We might need something else to make that work though. Rat meat cooked. I wonder if this bar over here, is that just how cooked it is? Or if that's how long till it goes bad. Guess we'll find out, eh? Lonagoth. Sorry, Literally stranger, nothing to say. My time is short, so get on with it. Say your words. Uh, words? You're new here. I'm Shirkle Grosharga. This is La Ode. Welcome to the Bitter Coast region. Is there something I can help you with, or are you lost and looking for the way out? Um, no. Just honestly, just kind of looking for the trader, maybe an inn. 
Although I'm feeling like you probably don't have inns around here. Orcs are ugly in this game. They really don't do them justice until ESO. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. It seems like most NPCs are just kind of generic too. Like have nothing really to say. I'm sure like you can find random ones that have interesting information, but... I'm scared to go through any of the crates or anything, because they all say own, so I'm assuming if we took stuff from them, people would not be happy? And I don't want to die again. And they say there was a traitor around here somewhere. I thought they did, but whatever. Uh, I'm assuming this is the road. Rumbling, okay. I'm peckish. I don't know, like, we have that rat meat. Uh, eh. Oh, dope, dude. Killed him in like two hits. We have plenty of crab meat if we do get hungry. Is this the road? No, I think the road's up there. Based on these signposts, it's honestly a little hard to tell. The road's just like a very slightly different shade than the uh, <laughs> than the rest of the ground. Ew, what are those things? Do we think we can fight them? I'm gonna try. This might be a mistake, man. Gotta learn somehow, though, right? Oh, they're angry. Ow. Oh, God. We might need to run away. Come on, can I hit them, please? Dude, I'm not even sure I've hit him at all. Oh, my God. Oh, we got him. He's a Nyx hound. Okay, we got him, but dude, that also kind of hurt. So I feel like we should be getting an axe or something. If I could get back into that menu, I'm going to quick save real quick just in case the game crashes because I'm alt tabbing. Uh, Ashfall, how to open menu. Um,. How to open the bush crafting menu. Hold on. Is it in like mod config? Ashfall? Is there anything here like controls? Enable bush crafting. Yes, but how do we do it? I mean, I think we should be allowed to sleep. Oh, no. That makes the whole only saving at like safe sleep spots and stuff like that too easy how do we open the bush crafting though man are you gonna tell me that uh create semi-permanent structures can place and camp yeah i know what bush crafting is but how do you open it um bush crafting Equip a valid material. Oh. So you just equip any valid material. So we would go to our inventory, which is not the I key. And then we would grab... What are... The rat pelt. There we go. So how do we collect straw? I still don't know that. Excuse me, kitty. Rope, straw, torches, lean to, straw, rope, and wood. I would really like to learn how to get plant fiber. <laughs> Flint knife. 
Flint and wood. Harvesting plant fibers. There we go. Um, Flint and wood. Craft. Okay. So we now have a flint knife. So does that mean... Oh! I think it's doing something. Hey! Plant fiber! Let's go! Okay. Can we just collect forever, or will it slowly differ slowly disappear? It slowly disappears. Okay. Now that we collected that, though... Oh, excuse me. Now that we collected that, though... So we have 11 plant fiber. We should be able to make a... No, we need rope first. So craft a rope. Craft, how much do we need? We need 10 straw. And straw is one fiber, so we need 10. Okay, so we need more plant fiber so we can get a bed. Because it is technically quitting time, and uh, we have yet to find somewhere we can sleep. Not to mention the fact that, you know, we probably need to sleep at some point in the game. <laughs> I hope after we, like, put down a uh, tent or a lean-to or something like that, I hope we're able to, uh, to recollect it. <laughs> that way we don't have to, like, keep collecting this stuff forever. Okay, plant fiber. We have 21. That should be enough. So we need 10 straw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Got a lot of experience for that. So now... Oh, we only have two pieces of wood? Okay, um... Hold on, hold on. Wood, axe, flint. Flint, wood, and rope. Craft. Okay. So now we have an axe. Made of flint. Not probably the most durable of axes, but... How long do we have to beat on this tree? I know you can actually, like, fell trees. <laughs> Not that we necessarily need to for what we're trying to do right now. But I knew that's supposed to be possible somehow. I also don't want to increase my uh, skill too much. Because I don't know if that plays into our overall level. And, uh, yeah, I don't want that to get too high. Okay, so bed. Oh, we need rope. I used the rope. Get eight. You're making it hard to click on stuff. Okay. Craft. Oh, God. Uh. Cycle drop mode. Press left alt. This is not what I expected. Is it possible to like... No, I think I think we just have to put this down now. Okay, so we're, we're going to set up a camp right here, I guess? How do we place it? I have no idea how this works. <laughs> It's like it's showing it here, but how do we actually place it down? Like it's green, so I'm assuming that means it's good. Rotate with left shift. Left clicking doesn't do anything. Right clicking doesn't do anything. Oh, you know what? E. There we go, of course. Hey! Okay, so now we can sleep, lay down, position, or destroy. Okay, yeah, so once we put them down, they're just kind of there. Well, we can sleep till morning, though. This seems like a safe enough spot. You know what? No. If we sleep out in the wild, we have to have a lean-to or a tent as well. That only seems fair. If we can craft one. <laughs> if not, then I take it back. No, we can craft a lean-to, which... Oh, 
apparently we don't have anything we need. We need eight straw, one rope. So one rope. Okay, so we need one more fiber and then eight more wood. Uh, what I went. I've been working on the rail. <laughs> Not quite. Close enough. Oh, we got resin. Three piece of firewood. Come on. It'd really suck if this tree did suddenly fall down, considering, you know, we're setting up camp right next to it. Two more piece of firewood. I'm assuming that we're swinging so slowly because we're, like, tired. Okay. If we get, like... I think that's probably enough firewood. Yeah, it's gotta be enough. Give me some, some plant fiber, please, and thank you. Nice. Can we, like... No. I was hoping maybe we could collect the stuff from the mushrooms in the same way of just beating it repeatedly. But, uh, no luck on that one. Okay, so... Lean to. We need... One more straw. Craft. Lean to. Craft. Then it was left shift. Hey, dude, look at us go. Can we get a fire pit too? That'd be pretty dope. What do you need for a fire pit? There's torches. I'm assuming we don't have the ability to make fires yet. Which, fair enough. We have to either eat raw food or... Uh, <laughs> or find a fire somewhere else to cook. Uh, let's sleep. So this should be safe now. So it's 10 p.m., so we want to sleep. Let's get a full eight hours, man. Which healed us a little bit. Not completely, but did a little bit. And then if we go into our menu here, we can eat that rat meat. Ooh, which well fed us. Hunger drains fast when the player is cold. Oh. Cook meat and vegetables on a grill to increase their satiation. I'm seriously curious, though, if it's dangerous to eat certain foods raw. We have jerky, too. I guess we could have ate some of that. Does the food heal us at all? It looks like it did. Cool. Okay, well, since this is technically a safe spot... That also means that we can uh, save. I think it auto saves when we sleep. Yeah, okay, good. So we don't even need to. Cool, and I guess this is just a campsite for us now. It'd be nice if we had some way of like marking it on the map so we knew that it was there, but whatever. That's actually, I really like the bush crafting, like all the extra crafting stuff, because I'm pretty sure, like, the Skyrim survival mode, the official one at least, I don't think has any of that stuff. It's just eat food. <laughs> eat food, get cold. I think there might be diseases added too, but that's pretty much it. I want to try to kill some bandits, but I don't feel like we're ready for that. Not at all, dude. Just got to kill some more small creatures. With the wrong type of weapon for our character build. <laughs> we might just end up becoming a uh, sword user anyways, because <laughs> that just happens to be what we have. <gasps> Here we go, dude. I'm assuming this is it. The town we were looking for. Or maybe not. Looks like the sign's pointing that way. 
And then these ones are pointing... Yeah. Hmm. Is this sign meant to be pointing this? I don't know. Let's just go up here and see. See if anybody's here that can tell us where we are or what's going on. Maybe it's not dangerous. Hoping it's safe. Hello. Uh, you're not evil people, are you? Wonder. Prop. Prop. Pylon. Pro pylon. Pro pylon chamber. Oh. Oh, this looks kind of evil. This crate isn't owned, though. Scroll of something gem feeder. Soul trap for 60 seconds on target. That's cool, I guess. Exclusive restore willpower. Spoiled cure poison potion. Sujama. Uh, we'll take everything. I don't feel the need to take the lantern. I will take the food. As far as I can tell, there's no spoilage, so... Might as well just take, like, all the food. I'm kind of scared to click on these things. Bargain poison resistance. Thank you. Water zero ninety. Let's take a couple bottles. Oh, hackle low tea. Cold? Really? Tiredness gain reduced by 25% for two hours. So it's got caffeine in it. Let's go, dude. Uh, pick up. Let's take it. I want to take a couple of the bottles with us just so we have something to hold water in. They are kind of heavy, I guess, though. Found me. Boiled Netch Leather Curious. That's a lot better than the nothing we have right now. So, yes, please. Quality restore and channel. Scroll of induces on hinging. Open 40 to 60 points on touch. Soul trap and some gold. Soul trees. Iron left. Dude, we're getting all the random armor. It's not necessarily armor that suits us since we were going for medium, but... I will take it. Oh. No, that must not be our overall level. That must be... How do we get to our character sheet again? Uh, probably can't do it from here, huh? Uh, menu. Then is it click on this? Yes. Okay, there we are. We're still level one. That must be like our armor value or something then. Huh. Okay. Scroll. Oh, the gem feeder one again. Cool. Nothing. Nothing. You guys were empty. Table? A basket? I think I'll leave the basket on. Empty bottles. More raw vegetables. And a sreth. You do not have the index for this prop propylon. Propylon. Okay, never mind. I have no idea what these are. This doesn't necessarily look like a nice area to be in, though. I'm a little scared that someone's just gonna come out and murder us. Not gonna lie. Run away. <laughs> they were not happy we were in there. So that's a note for me, dog. <laughs> we're just gonna not go anywhere near there if we can help it. That sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> just keep following this road to hopefully safety. Man, even though, like, the models and textures aren't the greatest, not even close, there's something just really pretty 
about this game compared to, like, say, Skyrim or something like that. All these stupid textures popping up being broken again. Yes, I'm sure. Continue running executable. I wonder if there's a setting in one of my mods that just tells those don't pop up. Like, just, <laughs> it's fine. Just keep running scripts even if things don't necessarily re load right. I think it's just, like, the, the distance stuff that's not sh loading right. Which I just, I don't really even care about. Like, it's fine. So, like, it probably sucks. But I wonder if we'd be better off using our wooden flint, flint wood axe. <laughs> the flint wooden axe here. Because at least we have some proficiency with it. Are you a creature? Yeah, let's try killing you with this. Let's see how well that goes for us. Okay, we're at least hitting more often, it seems like. We're not doing much in the way of damage. Uh, maybe we're not actually hitting any more often. And it's probably destroying our durability. Okay. Back to the sword. And our skill level is going up. We're also apparently very thirsty. Oh, hi, rat. Die, rat. Thank you. I will gladly take your meat. Uh, There's a house and some unsavory looking folk. Uh, <laughs> Very thirsty. Thirst drains faster when the player is hot. Drink water to reduce your thirst. Make sure to boil dirty water before consuming. You know, I was trying to do that, and I couldn't figure out a way to make it work. Um... Let's drink the cold tea, I guess. I'm sure there's some way to, like, not drink the whole thing in one go. Like, there probably is, but fuck if I know how. I, I realize I'm damp and or wet or whatever, but I want to go... And Rethi Ancestral Tomb. There are going to be people in here? Is this safe or dangerous? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That, was that cursed? That door must have been cursed. <laughs> Dude, that almost killed us. All I did was try to open a door. Is it gonna happen again? No. Oh god. The people there are not happy to see me though. So goodbye. <laughs> oh god. Are you... Okay, you're friendly. Oh, you're diseased. Oh god, you're not friendly. Run away. Run away. I lied. Oh shit, I thought you were friendly, man. We're dead. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> things are going well. That's fine. Everything is fine. Um, It doesn't look like morning. No, it's still 10 p.m. Oh, so it saves like at the beginning of the rest, not at the end of it. Okay. So rest. Hey, thank you for the five bits, love. And then... Where's our rat meat at? Eat our rat meat. Drink our dirty water, I guess. I mean, that seems to have done the trick. What time is it? It's 2.18. I guess we're going to have to call it there. We made, like, very little actual progress. I apologize for that. But at least now, for next time, everything's working. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. We can go from there. You no longer have the flu. I was sick? <laughs> when did I get sick? I didn't even know I had the flu. 
My god. Anyways, the next time we play, <laughs> at least now we have some idea what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> I do... The game... I'm dying a lot easier than I thought I was going to, considering we're on at normal difficulty right now. <laughs> like, so... <laughs> Oh boy, this might be harder than I expected. Regardless though, I had fun, even though we hardly got anything done. We got a little campsite, uh, explored some things. We tried to make it to a town, <laughs> the first town in the game, besides the starting area, and our first objective of the game. We, we failed miserably, but you know, gives us something to look forward to next time, I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> god damn it. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. Until next time, though, good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Suddenly there's like, you know, 30 different votes on it, different accounts that voted on it, but I know I only shared it with, I don't know, 15 people, then, yeah. <laughs> Plus, again, Strawpool has their own built-in things, too, to help prevent that. It's certainly possible to get around Strawpool's protections, but they are there. I was not paying attention at all to what <laughs> he was saying. Uh, I'm sure it was just something along the lines of, hey... Don't, uh, don't get in the lights, man. That wasn't nice. I was trying to get my, my thing, and you're just over here being an asshole. Anyway, did I ask how everyone's doing tonight? I think I did. I don't remember. How is everyone doing tonight, man? Work was so slow today for me. I don't know what it was. Like, it wasn't literally slow right like it was it was a pretty average day Stand up. in terms of the go. amount of customers that we had were how many we were and shit like that but oh my what's God, your name dragged on forever felt like it never wanted to end it was ridiculous He does what he does. I am excited to be playing some Sly Cooper, though. We've been playing some uh, very iffy games lately, that's for sure. <laughs> so I'm happy to be playing something that I know for a fact that I enjoy again. And uh, this is going to be a strong contender for the next game that we complete on our Monday streams or Wednesday if we switch it to Wednesday. Because, yeah, I know I like Sly Cooper, and I had already mentioned before, I want to play one that's a little bit shorter after playing through Odin Sphere. We still have one or two weeks left of that game before we move on to anything else. But, whenever it is finally finished up, I really want to uh, play something a little bit shorter. That's what's the only thing that stopped me from going straight into, like, a Final Fantasy or something like that. Because <laughs> I just don't really want to go from one 40-hour game to another, like, 40 to 60-hour game. It's one of your favorite PlayStation series? Yeah. I don't blame you, honestly. Like I said, it's really good, man. I love uh, Sly 1. I don't think I ever got around to playing the other ones, though. Surprisingly. When you get I your next big idea, say... PS... I don't remember which one I have it for, but I have the Sly Cooper collection, so I... Uh, oh, shit. Ow. <laughs>